Hello and welcome to Accounting 220 for the spring semester of 2019 online. This is going to be a quick introduction video of our course and some important things you need to review before taking the scavenger hunt quiz. The first item would be the syllabus located um, under this blue picture has a document posted that you should read through thoroughly and then a copy of our course timeline. The second item I would like to cover is you can find information about me and um, how to contact me under the all about me section. Your grades are accessible here and an important document you will want to review is located under this everything you need to know about accounting link. It's an online whiteboard where I have posted several graphics that are extremely important, um, but this frequently asked questions document will help you answer a couple of the online scavenger hunt quiz questions. Also, it's really important to learn the chart of accounts, which accounts are assets, which accounts are income statement accounts, which accounts go on the balance sheet. We'll cover that in the very first chapter, but. If you want to start working on something, memorizing those items is really going to be helpful. Next, I would like to cover our textbook. We are set up this semester with auto access. So if you click on the far left McGraw Hill Connect link, it should bring up um, the McGraw Hill campus link and ask you to uh, put in your email address. After you click the get started, click on connect. Um, it may look a little different, but once you've entered your email account, please use your OTC account. Um, it would look for an existing account. If you already have one, it'll link it up with that. If you've used McGraw Hill online textbook products before, um, if not, it'll just ask you to make up a password and get you set up. Now auto access does not mean that you won't be charged for the code. It's just it's preloaded into Canvas and after the first two weeks of class your OTC account will be charged for $123 um, to access the online homework module questions and the ebook. If you want to opt out of that and buy the access code somewhere separately, you can do that. You will need to fill out the opt-out form that can be found on the OTC bookstore website. So if you go to the OTC website and type in OTC bookstore, there's an auto access link under the store information. You can read all about it if you have questions regarding what auto access is. But on this page, you will find the opt out form. You would have also received information about opting out through an email from the bookstore. And here's the link to opt out. There's a form you will fill out. If you are planning to stay in the course, the only thing you need to remember is that your OTC account will be charged $123 for accessing the ebook in the homework um, after two weeks of class. If you want to opt out, you need to fill out that form again off the OTC bookstore website. If you would like a printed copy of the textbook, the bookstore can provide that for an additional fee. So please contact them if you would like to have a printed hard copy of the textbook. Auto access just means you are automatically connected uh, without having to purchase a separate code, but you will be charged for it after two weeks of class. So once you've gotten into our assignment um, or registered with Connect, McGraw-Hill, the module they use is called Connect, you will want to start working on a couple of assignments. This is what your first week looks like. You will definitely, once you're in the module, you will want to check out the learning resources folder. Here's where I post any PowerPoints, lectures, notes, really important information. I would review this first for every chapter. So that was under 
When you go to the modules or from the home page, each chapter, there's a separate picture for that chapter. So again, one more time on the home page. When I click on week one, module one here, we'll have week one starts on a Monday, ends on a Sunday. The learning resources is the very first stop you need to make and review all of those resources. Then we have for the first week an icebreaker, uh, introduce yourself. The scavenger hunt quiz will be all about the parameters of our course. Then these two assignments are linked through Connect. So the first one here that does not say regular, once you have registered with Connect, you will click on it and it might take you to what looks like the smart book. But the really important thing from this page is that in the bottom left hand corner where it hits says practice, that's actually how you're going to access those questions. I refer to this as the learn smart assignment. Right now it says there are 50 items left. If I know it, I would put I know it and then I would type in um, or if I don't just type in that you don't know it. Financial accounting submit. That's correct. So now I only have 49 items in the stack of questions. If I get it incorrect, the number of items does not go down. But you're not actually completing this assignment until you are doing these questions. Just clicking through and reading the ebook is not going to earn you any points. It's very helpful for your knowledge, but to actually access the exam the assignment, you need to click practice. So practice and there'll be 50 of these questions approximately a few more or less per chapter. And those are based on items completed correctly. So even if you go through every question, but if you don't answer anything correct, you won't receive credit for that assignment. The next assignment in Connect will be an application assignment where you have to create financial statements and solve problems. Um, the home page of Connect looks like this, and you'll see the other regular homework assignment. The regular homework assignment can be submitted twice and you do have a check my work on each question, but you can only check your work twice. So you can check each question twice and you can submit it twice. So that is how our homework will run down. You will also have for some chapters an individual assignment. Every chapter you'll have a quiz. Every one to three chapters you'll have an exam. The exam will be due either at the end of the week or the following Wednesday. So from our home page, you can see we can access everything we need for the course, but mainly you need to be checking into the course at least twice a week and working through your module, which will cover one uh, chapter or two chapters, and that'll be due every week or every two weeks. So I look forward to having you in class. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me anytime. Uh, email is the best way to contact me, and I look forward to getting to know you.